Welcome back. Today we're going to look at the stoichiometry of propane. Propane is another hydrocarbon. And again, we're going to be looking at the combustion of propane. Therefore, we're going to be using oxygen. Propane is going to be our fuel in this case, and heat. Remember the hydrocarbons are made of only two types of atoms, hydrogen and carbon. In propane's case, the hydrocarbon contains three carbon atoms and eight hydrogen atoms. As you can see with the Lewis dot structure, the middle carbon shares two bonding electrons with two separate carbon atoms and two hydrogen atoms. And the end carbon shares two bonding electrons with three separate hydrogen atoms, as well as with a central carbon atom. If I draw a structural diagram instead of the Lewis dot structure, I'm going to replace two dots with a line to represent the bond. But as this is a focus on stoichiometry, I'm just going to write down the chemical formula for propane. C3H8. As with methane, the products of combustion and propane are also carbon dioxide and water. As this is a combustion reaction, heat is required to start the reaction. Since it's stoichiometry, we'll again start by balancing the chemical equation or making a balanced equation. I'm not going to use the heat symbol above the arrow because, again, this is a combustion reaction. So that's already understood. We we'll again use the what do I know method, writing down how many of each atom we have for both reactants and products. We're going to write our 2 by n table for both reactants and products. Again, n is going to equal 3 because there's three atoms, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen again. And we will cross multiply our molecules until the equation, the chemical equation, is balanced. Now what do I know? For the reactant, Carbon is found only in the propane, and there's three carbons. On the products, carbon is found in the carbon dioxide, and there's only one. Three carbons and one carbon, the carbons are not balanced. The reactants, I find hydrogen in the propane molecule, and there's eight. On the products, I find hydrogen in the water molecule, and there's only two. Hydrogen is not balanced. For the reactants, for oxygen atom, that's found only in the oxygen molecule on the reactant side, of which there's two. And for the product side, oxygen atoms are found two in the carbon dioxide molecule and one in the water molecule for a total of three. This is not a balanced equation at all. Neither the carbon, hydrogen, or oxygen atoms are balanced in the equation. Let's start with carbon. Again, carbon is found in propane, and there's three of those within the reactants. Only one in the carbon dioxide. Carbon is not balanced, but what can I do? If I multiply the carbon dioxide by three, 3 times 1 is 3. Now my carbon is balanced. Let's move on to hydrogen. Now I have 8 hydrogens within the propane on the reactant side, and only 2 within the water molecule on the product side. So the hydrogen atoms are not balanced. How will I balance this? What would you do? Let's multiply the product water by 4. 4 times 2 is 8. That would give me 8 hydrogen atoms on the product side and 8 hydrogen atoms on the reactant side. Now I have my hydrogen atoms and my carbon atoms balanced. That leaves just water, I mean, that leaves just oxygen to balance. So let's check the oxygen atoms. Again, as with methane, I only see oxygen in the oxygen molecule, and there's two. On the product side, I have two oxygen molecule atoms, two oxygen atoms, and CO2. And there's three CO2s for a total of six oxygen atoms. I have one oxygen atom for every water. And now I have four molecules of water. That's four oxygen atoms. Four plus six is ten. So now I have ten oxygen atoms on the product side. Oxygen atoms are not balanced. How would I balance them? What would you do? So if I multiply the oxygen molecule, the reactant, by 5, now I have 10 oxygen atoms on the reactant side and 10 oxygen atoms on the product side. Because 5 times 2 is 10. The oxygen atoms are now in balance. Now let's just recheck our work. I have 3 carbons in propane on the reactant side. I have 3 carbon dioxide molecules each containing one carbon, so I have three carbons on the product side. Carbon atoms are balanced. 
On the reactant side, I have eight hydrogen atoms in the propane. I have two hydrogen atoms for every molecule of water, and there's four molecules of water. That gives me eight hydrogen atoms on the product side. Hydrogen atoms are balanced. There are five oxygen atom molecules on the reactant side, each containing two atoms of oxygen, for a total of 10. I have six total oxygen atoms in the three carbon dioxide molecules, each carbon dioxide molecule containing two. And I have four water molecules, each water molecule containing one oxygen atom, for a total of 10 oxygen atoms. My oxygen atoms are now in balance. The chemical equation is now fully balanced. Congratulations. You have balanced combustion reaction involving propane. And another lesson, we will look at the combustion of propane, but using any lemony reactants in this case. So until next time, take care.